see that freaking uh, Subaru owner head nod to the other Subaru owner. But the Harley guys, hoyo, hoyo, you drive Subaru, hoyo. What up, YouTube? Welcome. Uh, it's been about a week and a half since I've been on my girl. And you can always tell when it's been a long time when you start your bike up and you can smell the dust cooking on when you can smell the dust cooking on the exhaust manifold or header pipe or whatever you want to call it. Cooking exhaust dust. Mmm, that's a sign of you aren't riding enough. And that is my case, but I have a very good reason why, and that is family. We all have family out there. Hardcore as we all are, we like to ride, have fun. We all got to take a break every now and then to spend with our family. And in my case, my family drove a long way to come see me. So I put the, put the old girl away and uh, hung out with the family. I uh, did a lot of tours and stuff of my own town here. Let's do something a little off topic, or not off topic, but off of uh, what I usually talk about as far as motorcycles and stuff. Here where we live in Boise, and when I say we, I mean me and my family. I don't know how many of you subscribers actually live here in the valley with me or nearby, but we got this awesome chapel. And we'll kind of go by it a little bit. And I have walked around on the grounds and checked it out. I'm not going to take you guys there today. I know some of you guys would love to see it, but it is almost 100 today. And I'm not going to be walking around in a parking lot with my gear on and my helmet. Because it would be like a candy bar and a, on your hot sticky hand on a summer day in July. But you can see it coming up here on the left. They got the little statue of Moroni on top. Plan is, I think it's a trumpet. You know, don't ask me why I know all this. I just things get me interested, so I like to check them out. But uh, they just renovated that uh, just a little while ago. So that's all the new brick. It used to have, I believe, marble on it but all renovated, nice, neat cap, and that's about it. That's the excitement of that. So got oh, about 200 and some change on uh, the new sprockets, and uh, it's going to work out nice. I mean, it's got a little bit higher RPM range running up and down in the, to the cities and the larger canyons and stuff, but for the tight, twisty stuff, it's, it's perfect. The odometer, everything's on right, so nothing to worry about there. For you other guys out there that have to program and speedo healer and all that stuff, I, I do feel sorry for you. I wish it was uh, as simple as mine, is just slam the shit on and go. But, you know, it is what it is. You bought the bike, now ride it. <laughs> She don't want to play potty though. Wouldn't expect a chickie to be driving that aggressive usually, but some of them got that little anger streak in there. She probably saw the camera. And... Oh no! Oh no! What'd you guys do? Yo! <laughs> Such a good looking car. Thought it was a ZL1 Camaro, but it's not. I think it's a... I think it's just a regular SS. No, I mean, don't tell Camaro owners that it's just regular. But, it is. Everybody and their mom has one. They like to admit it. Even GM said these aren't going to be collector cars or anything special. They are cookie cutter cars. It's a 
lane are you going to choose? I don't want to be that guy on the 5 o'clock news that pulled out in front of a car that was driving with his blinker on. Sure is a nice day to not wear your gear, but then again think about a nice searing hot cheese grater on your skin. It's unfortunate, but shit does happen, man. And it always happens to me when I least expect it, or it's that one time I'm just going to go around the block to test something. Some drunk idiot driving their Land Rover would run my ass over. Here we have 16th Street. Followed by an immediate right. There was a memorial on a tour I took. Talks about, I guess that's some uh, old famous uh, meeting spot back in the 1800s, I think. Late 1800s, early 1900s, where travelers would meet before all this crap was here. Well, I shouldn't say crap, because some of these houses are really nice. Uh, I did learn something. The very first Albertsons, Joe Albertson, his house and his store were right here. Um, I don't know exactly the location because uh, I was on a tour bus and didn't pay attention. But it did start right here, which was kind of cool and interesting because where I came from, we had an Albertsons and I always thought it was just some, you know, Joe Schmo company CEO store that wasn't going to make it from Phoenix. Ran by an outfit out of Germany. But come to find out, it was based and started right here in Boise, Idaho. So it has nothing to do with motorcycle riding other than the fact if you needed to go get a cold drink of water or some ice cold beer if you're into that. It might be a place you might check out. Here we have Slim Simplot Hill with the governor's mansion on top. Um, I don't know if it's the current governor's mansion or what, but it's what it was told to me. Lots of grass. Every time I look at this, I think about a dual sport or dirt bike and just hit and ride up that thing. I guess there's a parking lot on the back side. just roll right up in there. 